Okay, so I have this wave pour and the swipe part was pretty, but I wasn't in love with this dark white background. So I wanted to show you guys how to easily paint the background without risking your swipe wave portion. And of course, this can work for any background on any type of painting. So we're going to be masking off the wave portion with masking tape and then making a leak proof barrier with Mod Podge. So it's super simple and super effective. So you're going to want the pour part completely dry and clean. Then comes the masking tape. So I'm using blue painter's tape and I'm going to use basic strips to block out the bulk of it. But along the surface of the wave, um, so basically the portions next to the background, I'm going to be cutting shapes out of the masking tape to go onto it. So in general, if I see a cell or a bubble, I'll cut out a relatively same size circle out of the masking tape. And I'm not too worried about following the exact same shape pattern as what's poured. Ultimately, I'm just remembering that the general shape I create with the masking tape will be the shape of my new wave surface line. I want it to be pretty close to what organically happened with the swipe because it resembles the irregularity of water. So I'm just really taking my time here. You can certainly just mask off a straight line if you want to keep it super easy. So, okay, for the wave, how do we tape it off? How are we taping off this big curved portion? Well, you can certainly cut out curved pieces of tape. But I also wanted to show you something pretty cool, so it's the nerd in me. But you probably already know this, but I just love watching it, so I wanted to show you. So you can make a curve out of straight lines. And here's a circle, and I'm going to use triangles as my straight lines. It can literally be any straight edge, though, rectangle, square, etc. So watch this. So you just keep placing the straight edge incrementally angled, and you follow that around the curve, and voila! And the more straight edges you use, the smoother your circle will be. And here's a side-by-side -side of the 16 triangles next to the 33 triangles one. The finished circle of the 33 looks a lot smoother, but the 16 triangles still gets the job done. Okay, so back to the tape portion. Um, you can, like I said, cut out with tape, or you can use multiple straight edges for the curve or just a small portion of the curve. It just gives you a little bit more flexibility instead of the daunting task of having to cut out the exact same size curve. So, pretty fun. All right, all taped off. Now it's time for the Mod Podge. Mod Podge, to quote, is water-based sealer glue and finish and for this application i'm basically using it to seal off the tape so no paint leaks under it onto my wave portion i definitely don't want to risk my wave portion that poor part so i'm going to use a small brush to dab the mod podge on and i rub it with my fingers to smooth out those brush strokes and i basically want to make it a fine layer where the tape meets the canvas because I don't want a big ridge of Mod Podge to make it very obvious this was taped off. So if you smooth out any of those brush strokes or ridges or globs and that'll make it a very thin seal it'll still get the job done but you, it won't be obvious that this portion was taped off. So I do this along any of the tape edge that meets with the white background. And right here for some reason the tape really didn't want to stick here. So I just really globbed the Mod Podge on and then pressed it down and then let that kind of dry. And then um, I came back later for a second coat on this area to fill in any more tiny little gaps. So I just continue all along till all the edges were sealed. Then I let it dry for a while. Okay, so for the painting part, I just picked some colors and I wanted like a pretty pink, you know, pink yellow sunset. So I'm just going to brush on some acrylic paint straight from the tube and I'm using a one inch nylon brush and it's pretty simple. I just dab the paint onto the canvas and I just keep working those dabs of paint with long strokes until you get a nice gradient effect. And I definitely come back to an area with more paint since I wanted to make this area a bit more vibrant. Okay, so I let it dry. When removing the masking tape, the goal is to pull it at an angle and slowly. The angle you pull at helps break the seal of the Mod Podge. So going around the curve here, it started coming off in sections and some pieces were hard to get started with. So I just used an X-Acto knife to carefully lift up a corner and edge to give me enough to get a good grip and peel that portion off. Oh, and I just wanted to show you here, this is what happens when you peel tape off too quickly. I just ripped it right off over here and it peeled up some of the skyline paint so it looks patchy now. But no worries, it's easy to touch up with a brush just using the same colors. And there you have it, pretty simple process. And if you wanna see a very easy way to add 
any custom image to your dried pour painting that it looks so smooth and flawless, check out this video.